What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, today we're here for AQW News. This week we're going to be talking about Talk Like a Pirate Day, this week's event, and AQ Dragons as that sort of had a little bit of an update as well. So without any further ado, let's get into this week's news. First of all, we'll talk about the Talk Like a Pirate Day stuff that uh, has been confirmed by Alina. So we've got news both on the design notes and on Alina's Twitter page from uh, regarding all of this. So I'll go over the design notes post, which has got all the detailed information and a, a couple of images there. And then after I've done that, I'll go through some of the work in progress images that we've got over the last week or so regarding the the Talk Like a Pirate Day armors and events and stuff. So uh, we'll, we'll go over that design notes post now. Okay, so Alina made a design notes post and she basically confirmed a bunch of gear that's been that's gonna be coming this Talk Like a Pirate Day. So the the three sets that were confirmed were the Dragonborn Naval Commander, the Paladin and Obsidian Paladin Naval Commanders, and the Kaiju or Kaiju Pirate Captain. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, I guess I guess it's either Kaiju or Kaiju. I don't know. So, um, this is what the Dragonborn Naval Commander looks like. It's the green one, this green Naval Commander armor here. This is what the Paladin and Obsidian Paladin Naval Commanders look like. So it's they're just they're just different color schemes of the same thing pretty much. And I think this one looks the best to be honest. I think this Paladin and Obsidian Paladin Naval Commander, I think that looks the best. I think these two in particular look amazing. Um, but either way, and we don't know what the Kaiju or Kaiju Pirate Captain looks like uh, yet. So uh, I guess just look on Alina's Twitter and I'll, I'll be retweeting some stuff over the next week. So look on my Twitter or Alina's Twitter over the next week or so or a couple of weeks as we approach that date. And you'll probably get some news regarding that. Um, <clears throat> but uh, the big news comes regarding the Dragonborn Naval Commander. So again, it's the screen one here. And as you can see next to it is a blue version of the Dragonborn Naval Commander. Um, now, you might, that might, might be a bit confusing at first, so I'll, uh, I'll, I'll explain that situation, which is causing quite a bit of controversy, actually. Um, so, they've said that dragons come in many colors, so so will the Dragonborn Naval Commander. They're planning to add the, the green original one, plus red, orange, gold, blue, purple, brown, black, and pink variants of this Dragonborn Naval Commander. So, in order to get the color variants, you'll need... The Dragonborn Naval Commander, as the base item, that, so that's a requirement to get any of the recolors at all, so you need the green one plus any other items that are mentioned. You'll need the green Naval Commander and a pet that costs 900 ACs called Parrot Gone Pet, and that'll unlock one color variant, so that's 900 ACs for one color variant, and you'll have to quest for the color variant as well. Or, if you want all of the color variants, so that's all eight of the color variants, you'll need to get the, again, the green Dragonborn Naval Commander, plus the Pirate Wyvern Pet, which costs 10,000 ACs to quest for and create all of the color variants. So, for example, if you want to get the blue Dragonborn Naval Commander, shown in that image, you'll want to get the Dragonborn Naval Commander armor and the blue Parrot Gone Pet. Holy crap. They've said that you'll need to be uh, going off in search of the Draconic Die, which will then let you turn in your Dragonborn Naval Commander. Not turn in, will just turn your Dragonborn Naval Commander from green to blue. The quest will also reward the accessories, which includes helms, weapons, capes, and the pet, so it's a pretty sweet deal. If you want to get all of the Dragonborn Naval Commander variants, and all of their accessories, over 120 items, you'll want to get the Dragonborn Naval Commander armor, and the Pirate Wyvern Pet that will unlock all the color variants and the regular green Dragonborn Naval Commander accessories. So you'll get the red, orange, gold, green, blue, purple, brown, black, and pink sets. That is a boatload of loot, but for you collectors out there, the dragon-themed treasure will flow. They've got a footnote at the end there regarding selling those two pets because they are quite expensive. The Parrot Gone Pet, which is the 900 AC pet, uh, will not be sellable until after Talk Like a Pirate Day event ends. Due to its value, the 10,000 AC pet, the Pirate Wyvern pet, cannot ever be sold, so no one will, will be able to, to take your booty. I don't know why you can't sell it. I guess just it's because they want you to spend your ACs and not get any much stuff for them, I guess. I don't know. You're, you're spending 10,000 ACs on some sets... 
We uh, ten, like uh, ten thousand ACs. You, you gotta you gotta you gotta picture that, right? Ten thousand ACs is five five classes. Let's just let's just. I'm, I'm in game right now. Let, let's go to battle on, and uh, we'll, we'll take a look at, at what what uh, what classes you can get for that. So let's go to class shop here. So you could get you could get you could get a you could get a combination like this. You could get Dark Blood Storm King, Eternal Inversionist. Glacial Berserker, Lycan, and let's go something really good. Let's go Stone Crusher. You get all those classes. Hopefully, I mentioned five. Um, or you could get, you know, you could get the color variants. Or you could get five classes. Five classes. Or you could now you could just get the color variants of the na naval commander. <sighs> that's that's really really hard to stomach for a lot of people. And I know a lot of other YouTubers have already made rants and stuff on this. But uh, my my two cents is. They're doing they're doing a good job, okay? You can you can tell based on this image here, you can tell that they are recoloring the the stuff properly. They're not just making it like a color custom armor where it just changes the color. You can tell. Look at the arms. The arms are dark green on the green one, and then they're dark blue, like a sort of grayish blue color on the on the the blue one. And then look at the gems. The gems have like a green tint to them, and then they have a blue tint to them, and then. The pants look slightly different. I guess it might be a female male difference, but uh, like look at the collar and the 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 like the the metal parts look different as well, and like the the trim looks different, and the the hat looks different, and the gem looks different, and the pet has been recolored fully. What I'm trying to say is that you could make a color custom version that costs a lot of ACs, or you could just make a uh, a bunch of armors and get them fully properly recolored to make them look really really good, not just a a little little color custom thing there I guess um, I'll, I'll get some images on screen I'm, I'm really tempted to just get some images on screen of all of the the possible colors that they've they, they've mentioned um, but except I'll do it in Photoshop so I guess because we haven't actually got the official images yet of the other colors other than green and blue so I'll get the green one or the blue one and I'll just like recolor it based on what what uh what the colors have given so we get a little idea of what it might look like. But again, the other color variants, other than green or blue, they're made by me. So I'm doing that in Photoshop. So it's, that's not what it's actually going to look like. In fact, if it looks like garbage, then I won't even put it on screen anyway. I might. I don't know. Either way, that's the news regarding Talk Like a Pirate Day. So to recap, we are getting Dragonborn Naval Commander, Paladin and Obsidian Paladin Naval Commanders, Keiju, Kaiju Pirate Captain, um, and of course, the eight color variants of the Dragonborn Naval Commander available for... 900 ACs for one color variant or 10,000 ACs for all of the color variants. Wow, that's a... Jesus Christ. Either way. I'll try and make these next couple of stories quick as they're not as important to other people, but basically they have changed their policy on the Flame Dragon Warrior class. If you don't know what that is, it's essentially the class you get as a reward for purchasing something in-game in AQ Dragons, which is one of their mobile games. Um, so they've changed that. You don't need to make a purchase in the game. Um, anymore, you don't need to get, go into AQ Dragons and link your account and then make the purchase or whatever. You can just go to the, I guess, what is it, the uh, upgrade account page, the, I guess just the same page as like buy membership and all that, the order page, um, and you'll see down near the bottom, above the Bonebreaker Adventure Pack thing, is the Flame Dragon Warrior set, which you can purchase for $9.95. It includes the class and the armor set for $9.95. So uh, if, if you want that and you, you are interested in getting that class finally, if you couldn't before, then by all means, you can do it now. Um, if you are interested in me taking a look at that class and doing a how good is video on that class, which means I'll do the enhancements, the weapon range, how to use it, what combo, what my opinion is on the class and all that, then by all means, let me know in the comment section down below and uh, make sure you give a comment that mentions whether they want me to do the Flame Dragon Warrior video or not, give that a thumbs up. Actually, you know what? I'll do a poll. I'll do a poll. I'll put a link to that in the description or in the comment section down there. Um, I'll pin that so you guys can vote whether I should or should not do a Flame Dragon Warrior video. Um, but yeah. And finally this week, we'll wrap it up with this Friday's event. Um, there'll be a limited time shop update this Friday. The Royal Sin... Centurion set, I think that's how it's pronounced. Again, I'm awful at pronunciations. The Royal Centurion set and other regal gear will be available in the featured gear shop available for adventure coins until September 1st, starting this Friday. 
Um, but basically, it's just like a gladiator set that's color custom. I'll see if I can put the GIF on screen of uh, Alina changing the colors on it. Um, essentially, it's just like a, like I said, a, a gladiator themed set. Um, looks kind of cool, I guess. I don't know if you're into that, but uh, I probably wouldn't buy it to be honest. But yeah, it's, it's gonna be available this weekend, guys. Woo! Um, either way, I think you can quest for it. I'm not entirely sure. I can't find where I saw that, but I saw somewhere that you can quest for it. Um, but it won't be color custom. So there's a AC's color custom version and a non AC questable version available in this week's uh, Dragon event thing. The Seven Days Dragon. I really don't care much for those events at all. But yeah, this Friday, I guess, guys, go for it. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you have not already. And I apologize for my awful Photoshop skills if that is in the video or not. I don't know. I, I haven't done it yet, so I'll have to go do that now. All right, see ya.